I'm here with some Moms for Liberty who had a very interesting experience last night. We're at the Moms for Liberty conference in Philadelphia. It's been a great group of joyful warriors, a lot of uh, terrific speakers, um, and but there's also been substantial protests outside last night and the night before. There were a lot of trans activists who are claiming that moms who are in favor of parental rights and protecting their kids from gender identity indoctrination are hateful in some way. So I'd like to talk to you about what happened. You went out for dinner. You left the hotel and and you got some Ubers and you were surrounded by these people who had been out there since nine o'clock in the morning. Um, We heard from Scarlett about what happened. And why do you think that they were so intent on attacking you guys? Um, I mean, I think they know that we are winning this fight. We're really gaining momentum. Um, We have people on our side now who have a lot of influence. And so we are actually making headway and they are threatened by that. Um, you know, you mentioned, uh, the speakers, they all, you know, have our, have our backs. We, we've had several presidential candidates come. Um, so we're, we're, we're winning (laughs) and they're, like I said, intimidated. They are accustomed to being the only act in town as far as activism. And I think they're threatened because we are now activated. We are now organizing. We are now uh, able to understand how things work. And we're and we are we are working campaigns. We are getting on school boards. We are now forming state legislative committees and we're trying to uh, push legislation. We're developing relationships with politicians, relationships with teachers, relationships with anything, anybody that we can. And I think that we're successful because we are speaking truth. We are speaking common sense and they are not. Mm-hmm. And the more success we have, the more angry that they get. And just look at the poll numbers. We are on the right side of all of these issues because they are sane, mm-hmm. because they are normal. Um, and they they want to project that we are somehow abnormal and that we don't belong. We don't belong in Philadelphia. We don't even belong in this country. We belong probably in some gulag or something. <laughs> but but this is this, these are our kids. This is our country. We are in the birth cr- birthplace of this republic and this is our constitution this is everybody's constitution and we're going to fight for it 